In this video, we are still in chapter 6. We're talking about circles. This is section 6.7 on arc length. And uh, we're going to look at example 1, part C. So let's read through the problem. We have given the arc length of AB is 6 pi centimeters. What is the radius? All right, so my arc length here, AB, we see it has a measure of 120. And we see that it has a length of 6 pi. So we're going to use the same technique that we used last time. We're just going to set up a proportion. We just need to solve for something different this time. So we see that it's 120 out of 360 degrees. And we know that it's length, length, so the arc length on top here is 6 pi. And that's 6 pi out of the whole circumference, which would be 2 times pi times r. And then we need to solve for r. So we're going to go ahead and cross multiply again. Actually I'm going to reduce first. So 120 out of 360 is 1 third and that's going to equal, actually these pi's cancel out too, pi in the numerator and pi in the denominator so those cancel each other out. So that's going to be 6 over 2r. Now I can cross multiply. We could have cross multiplied in the first step. We just would have larger numbers. So 2r times 1 is 2r, and 3 times 6 is 18. Divide both sides by 2, and we get that r is 9. So our radius is 9, and our units were centimeters. All right, so our basic technique in this section is to set up this proportion. It's the measure of the arc over 360 equal to the length of the arc over the circumference. All right, so maybe you want to write that down somewhere uh, to have it handy. Uh, again, make sure you understand the problem and get help, and we'll see you next time.